I am Bibi the Witch, the coolest witch in all of Storyland. Is there any word on your sister and Prince? Not yet. But rest assured, I will not rest until they're found. What's that? What? Azul! Mozart! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you go. <laughs> now we're ready. When we last saw Bibi, she had summoned Beto to help with Cinderella's problem. This is the story of Bibi, the Princess Witch. Caramel, sweetie, what's the matter? All the eligible bachelors are here, and you're just walking around with a long face. I told you that I want a party. And no wonder they're all eligible. They're all ugly. But sweetie, you must find a husband. You're a princess. Princesses must get married. And what about if they just want me for my wedding? Ah, uh, don't worry. I've got a prenup ready to go right here. Wow. Nice boots. Thank you. Uh, Your Majesty, may I have the honor of dancing with your beautiful daughter? Wait a minute, why are you asking him? Isn't it me that you want to dance with? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I told you! Bring the watch with the GPS in it! Shut up, you hussy! This merchant is even better! Only do we mark the road as we go, but if we get hungry, we have something to munch on. I've never heard of such a thing. It is stupid. You're stupid. No, you are stupid. Just shut up and keep walking. I will show you, yeah? Wow. <laughs> Those two are really lost. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Those are some pretty big boots. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Big boots, big, huge, enormous personality. <laughs> <laughs> Beto, we're live. Uh, yes, I was saying the police officer said the suspect was looking like a very suspicious individual. Reporting live from Random City, USA, this is Beto Blue, back to you in the studio. Hey, what happened to your shoe? Nothing. I, I don't know what you're talking about. But, you, Your Majesty, you know that that can happen when you bring someone from the mortal world to I ours. I thought I told you to put more magic in the meter. So sorry, Your Majesty. So oh, sorry, Your Majesty. You know that if you want something done, you should ask me. There you are, my dear. The king is looking for you. What does he want to know? What he always wants. To just look into your eyes and find some comfort. And I suppose we mustn't keep him waiting. <sighs> I was told you were looking for me. My dear! Every day you look more and more like our beloved Queen Nephthalie. Your smile reminds me so much of your beloved Queen. Do not let your heart be troubled. I have great hopes you will find your mother, father, and brother too. Positive outlook is supposed to encourage you.
Yes, my dear. Your positive outlook is most encouraging. The only thing I'm positive about is that you will always be the one and only queen of Storyland. And I will be your queen. We're looking for the man with she big enough to fit this boot. That looks like one of my boots. Oh, oh no, my brother. This is obviously my size. <sighs> Ta-da! I told you I knew it would fit. Give me this. Is there anyone else here that might fit this boot? No, th there's no one else here. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Cinderella. Is this your boot? Huh? Just try it. Try it on. It fits. It fits. You did this. You tied this poor man up and locked him up in the tool shed so I wouldn't find him. We didn't do anything. And I will look for him all morning. My bed hasn't been made. Enough! Guards, just, just, just take them away. Oh, yeah. I knew that I would find you. The handsome man that I saw at the ball. With the big... feet. Tell me, Cinderella. Will you marry me? Me? Marry you? Uh, well, after last night, I mean, I really think you have to. Well, I'm not sure what's going on here, but yes, I will marry you. Great. Well, let's go to my castle. My father's going to be so happy. Well, honey, anything to get out of this dump. I hate her. I hate her. Oh, I've despised her since the day she was born. Calm down, Odila. You may have lost this battle, but the war is not over. Of course the war isn't over. The fat lady hasn't sung. Oh, but that stupid little tramp. Why did she have to wake up? Why? Don't worry about her. As leader of the Wicked Wizards and Witchers Mafia, you have far greater things to worry about. I practically had Caramello's kingdom in the palm of my hand. Oh, if it hadn't been for that stupid little BB always sticking her nose job where it doesn't belong, that kingdom would be mine. Oh, all in due time, Odila, all in due time. Right now we must focus on the woods. I hear that Granny Corleone is getting weak. You are right. Mm -hmm. I cannot allow these little nuances to get me down. We'll take the western woods, and then we'll revisit Caramel. <laughs> <laughs> you, your majesty. Never, you are such a sweet talker. You know, you keep asking me that same question every time you take a look. Would it hurt you to change it up a little bit? Would seven years of bad luck be change enough for you? Uh, no. Change it. Sorry to interrupt this good. important conversation, your majesty, but Queen Odilla has come up with yet another sinister plan. The evil one has come up with another sinister lap? He said plan, your majesty. Oh. My queen, you know I don't normally agree with this clean freak of a cat. But in this case, I think he's on to something. Do you know anything about this, Blabber?
Who do you think you're calling chicken? Dare me to go that way? Hm. We'll see who's chicken. Little Red Riding Hood, don't ever take the road less traveled. It could be very dangerous. People say there are wolves there. Nah, give me a beat. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf? The big bad wolf? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Nah, ah, nah, ah. Chicka, chicka, what? Yeah. Uh oh. Just when I was about to give myself a chocolate facial. Will the evil one never let me take a day off? <laughs>